Moving to a new country could be a hard thing to do. About four years ago, my family of five moved to the U.S. to start a new life. At that time, my life in Vietnam was great. School was going well for me. I played for my school's basketball team. I had friends to hang out all the times. I enjoyed every day of my life. And all of a sudden, I lost everything. I moved to a place that people spoke something that I could barely understood, and did things that I've never seen in my country. After many unsuccessful attempts to talk to people, I felt terrible and I lost my confidence. I went to one of the top schools in Vietnam, and there I was, couldn't even say a simple sentence clearly. One week after my arrival, I went to Refugee High School. And decided to study eleventh grade again just to have enough time to prepare for the ACT. It was really hard for me to blend in with other students because I couldn't speak English well. I hated group assignments or class discussions because I had to talk during those activities. Phone call, on the other hand, was a whole new level of struggle. Things like, "Can you say that again?" or "I'm sorry, I don't understand that." Appeared in the conversations more than the actual things that I wanted to say. It was a disaster for me, but my brother and I had to handle almost everything relating to English for the family, so it was my duty to make those phone calls. Being able to make money while in high school was new to me. I applied for some places but got rejected. That was when Genesis Works came to my school to recruit new students. I was silly enough to apply and go to the interview, but didn't expect much about it. Somehow, magically, they accepted me for some reason. But anyway, working there for a year rewarded me more than just money. I improved my speaking and listening quite a lot by talking to my coworkers every day. It also made me feel less shy when talking to people. And for the first time, I had enough money to buy a pair of shoes for my mom. Which made me feel like I'm a rich man. I also managed to save enough money to travel back to Vietnam twice. After four years, I still have no friend. Even though I can speak English quite well now, I still find myself hopeless in making new friends. It is sad, but I'm used to it now. During these four years, I've grown a lot. I've become more independent and more mature. I'm now close to graduation, and everything will work out just fine for me. After all, I survive, and I know that there are a lot more waiting for me in the future.